morning guys hello everyone as I promised I was recording the ping extended and the fundamentals of ping video on the ICMP and then I was promising I going to record an extra ping video explaining basically the the features of uh, the ping tool from the Cisco system Superi system the iOS so Today we're going to use an OIOS um, 15 something, I want to, yeah, we're going to use 15.03, sorry, 15.3 for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. Okay, so let's start. Yeah, so we have basically this diagram, we have two, uh, four routers. Uh, basically back to back one to e each other so yeah let's get in the router one so for those guys um, haven't seen my pink video I was promising to show the the features of pink uh, within the operating system I show it in the in the theoretical video about ping I was using Windows uh, for demonstration uh, now we're gonna use the ping for for the Cisco operating system okay so so for the purpose of this testing we're gonna match the time we're working with the router with the time we're using Wireshark because we're gonna use Wireshark here so as you can see, today is January the 4th, uh, 2018. It's uh, 6.23 now, okay? So we're working based on this. Uh, while showing this, we want to check the timestamps of the Wireshark and then we want to verify uh, what the packet we're working, it's uh, really working. I mean, really match with what we want to show here. Okay, so yeah, Pink has a tool. We said it's quite powerful in the way that you can be able to uh, reach I mean you're capable to verify whether you, you can reach uh, some destination point in this case um, we're gonna check uh, the IP address of our router so we have uh, basically these two IPs okay so I want to give you a tip, like a CCIE tip. Um, every time you want to verify all the pings are back to back interconnected from your device, just do a broadcast. This is a layer three broadcast. Basically, um, you're pinging basically to everyone. That's the translation in a human language. Like you you pinging to everyone two times. So in this case, everyone is 12.1 and 13.2, and I told you they ping it twice. So the second time they ping it again, the 13. the 13.2 and 12.1. So they pinging the same but in the inverse mode. Okay. So this is basically a broadcast in layer three. Like not all operating systems support pinging to the broadcast in layer three. In this case, iOS supports. So this is super helpful. So now we find out like this is our neighbors. So let's use this for the purpose of the, the test. We want to use Ethernet 01. Okay. So, well, in at the CCI level, you need to type as fast as possible. Okay. So, ping is the same as just typing the letter P. Okay. As you can see, uh, I will show you. But in this case, we're going to use complete word for uh, lack of, uh, to avoid on, uh, misunderstanding. So we're going to ping to our neighbor, which is 12.1. So let's check it out, uh, the other features they're providing. So they're providing basically um, these ones. The data, they specific uh, specify the data. The difference, it, uh, the fragment, the, sorry, the don't fragment bit. 
um, the repeat count, the size, the diagram, the size in bytes. So who will be the source? The timeout, the quality of service for um, differentiated services uh, testing and validation. In this video, we're gonna do some cool ping using just the repeat, the size, uh, the don't fragment bit, source, and well, <laughs> basically everything. I want to show you in one shot how, how it works. Okay, so let's start with the with the size. Okay, by default the iOS provide a uh, hundred bytes for of size. In this case, we're gonna use the minimum, which is uh, we will check it out. It's thirty six. How come I know this? You just type the question mark, and then you will see this is the minimum value the iOS support, which is thirty thirty six, and support up to 18, um, 1800, right? Sorry, 18,000, sort of. So in this case, we're going to use 36, which is the minimum datagram size, which is the minimum amount of bytes we can handle in this ping. So, okay, so let's recap. We are we are 12.2, so we want to verify whether we have reachability in the 12.1. So when we're going to execute this packet, the packet will have the size of 36. So this first value, we want to check it out in Wireshark. Then let's add some don't, do not, uh, don't fragment bit. Okay, so let's. Uh, okay, we already added it. Basically, when you type this, you're saying that you will have the the, the don't fragment bit on. Okay, we will check it out on, on Wireshark. So um, yeah, then let's add some type of service. Okay. So well, we can use up to 220, uh, 255. It's uh, two hexadecimal values or one byte. How I know is one byte because one byte means uh, from zero, and this is, in this case is one to 255. But in this case, byte is from zero to 255, which is 256 total amount of um, units. Okay, in this case, we support any value within a byte, so we can use whatever we want. Okay, so I want to use 127. Um, I can use whatever value I want. So, as we know, 127 in bytes is. Uh, one zero and seven ones, right? So we win, We will see in Wireshark this value. So if we type one, obviously we will see the pretty much the opposite. Whoops, whoops. Okay, so we can type any value we, we want. So uh, in the first uh, command we're going to use 127 then we're going to change it to whatever we want uh, yeah basically this on uh, the, the source what is the source so the source is, um, well it's in here they specify the address we want to specify from our device in this case you can verify reachability as if you were on this interface or on in this interface what I mean by that is is not is even you are in the same router even you are in the same physical chassis it's not the same to verify if you wanna reach this IP from this one than to this one you can change it you have this power 
to decide who will be your sowers. Okay? So in this case we're gonna use this, which is Ethernet 01. So this will ask if we type the question mark they will ask about an IP or interface. So we're gonna use Ethernet 01, so I'm just gonna copy. Okay? So this is our source. Okay. What else? Repetitions. How many uh, packets we will send? Okay, remember guys, ping is a tool to verify reachability. And it's working with the ICMP protocol, remember? Internet control message protocol, remember? So each packet you're sending, you're sending one ICMP request which ICMP request it has another name people used to call it the echo request so when you hear an echo request or an ICMP request is pretty much the same thing depends of the books you're reading depends of uh, the multi vendor you're using uh, they can you know change the name but pretty much is the same thing so the repeat value of the repeat feature within the ping tool means how many uh, ICMP or echo requests you will send basically that's uh, the literal translation from this in human language to networking so how many echo requests request I want to send so for this case I want to send two one for the discovery and one for real answering, right? Awesome. Okay. Okay, so I think we cover a lot of features. We cover size, we cover done fragment bit, we cover quality of service or in this case type of service. We cover the source. <coughs> and how many echo replies we echo requests we're sending so let's hit enter okay so yeah it basically saying I'm router one I'm sending an echo request to this guy from the source from my source address of this guy this and this is basically the same thing in this scenario remember Ethernet 01 has the source address uh, has the address of 12.2 so we go back to validate what I'm saying is this okay so I want to show you again yeah so yeah translation I'm sending two echo reply echo request to this guy from this chassis from this interface with this from this interface and that interface has this IP basically and something else within the within these two echo requests we are putting the bit of done fragment bit on so we set it as on our success rate is 100% means like both was reachable and back means round trip our round trip was success okay that's that's super cool right that's awesome so let's see what we saw here in the Wireshark okay so this is our topology so this is our Wireshark yeah whoa okay let me size this bay let me size this based on the my video part yeah okay so what we have in here we are gonna check ICMP right cool that's awesome because we have the track of everything we have the track from the very beginning 
means the the first broadcast. Remember, I was showing to you like uh, the CCI hack where you can broadcast in order to verify all your, your neighbors. So you can see here the the broadcast. I sent to broadcast here. Remember? Okay, so we were checking the timestamps. Remember? Show clock. So it was kind of like a minute ago, right? Like two minutes ago. So we're gonna whoa. So sorry guys, what is this? Okay, so I'm gonna focus on the last two echo requests. This is one and this is two. And this is the reply from the request and this is from the reply from the second request. So I'm going we're going first let's check the timestamp first. Uh, 634 yeah it was kind of like three minutes ago so we did this right okay so we're basically studying this okay so this is from the destination side okay so you can see the request was sent uh, from 1 to from 12.1 to 12.2, right? Let me put in context again. Okay, so the router one has the 12.2, right? So this is the source in this case, okay? So this is the source and this is the destination, right? Okay, so let's start feature by feature. So we were saying Woof, yeah, yeah, this one, this guy, okay. Let's put it like highlighted. And um, yeah, so um, we said a size of 36, okay. So at this point, I think you already mastered the diagram, the IP diagram, or the OS, like the layer 2, layer 3, layer 4 diagram. In this case, the layer 3 diagram it's a packet right so remember a, de la, a layer 3 datagram is 20 bytes okay I'm not gonna stop explaining this we'll I think at this point you know if not I uh, you can check out my, my other datagram videos okay so at this point we all know we have 20 bytes of datagram okay and then we will check that the payload well not the payload the, the header of the ICMP is uh, 8 bytes. We're gonna check this in Wireshark. Okay. So this is some basic knowledge. We all know this information. Okay. So let's check it out in, in Wireshark. So yeah, we have the 20 bytes for layer 2, sorry, for the layer 3 with a huge IP. And then for uh, ICMP is um, let me show you the oh man let me put it this in context which is the hexadecimal side yeah okay so yeah okay sorry guys for a little mess up here okay so we have 20 bytes as you can see you can even see uh, selected the 20 header in layer 3 and for IP is uh, basically 16 in total you can see 16 total here from 08 hexadecimal to BB so this is a uh, 16 bytes right why 16 bytes 8 for the data and 8 for the header itself which is 1 byte for the type 1 byte for the code Two bytes for the checksum, uh, two bytes for the identifiers, and two bytes for the sequence, and two bytes for the sequence numbers. Okay, so that's a total for eight bytes header plus the data itself, which is eight bytes. Okay, that's easy to understand. So if we have for layer three, 20 bytes, for ICMP, 20 bytes, for the ICMP data. 
is 80 bytes, right? We have an amazing total of 20 plus 16 is uh, 36. Why am I explaining this? Because this is part of the pink, right? So we said we're gonna use the size of 36. So how come you get this 36? So 36 is the total amount of the ICMP data or the ICMP header. So let's change the title. Yeah, which is 8 plus the data or the payload. Okay, so the total I, the ICMP header is 16 bytes, as we saw. I want to show you again, super quick. So you, you, you select and you see selected 18 bytes, you see? 18, okay. So the total IP header is 16 bytes. How you get these 16 bytes, 8, 8 bytes for the header? Eight bytes for the header and eight bytes for the payload of the ICMP, okay? And 20 bytes for the layer three. That's a uh, fixed value, okay? So total six, uh, 36 bytes. In the next example I will show you, we can type whatever number and then we're gonna separate these uh, values again and then you will see the magic, okay? Okay, so now we already explained this and then we're gonna check Done fragment bit. So what is the done fragment bit? This is for MTU troubleshooting. Uh, you can sweep. Uh, you can do extended sweeping ping, and then you can verify. It's kind of like a manual uh, MTU discovery. So let's go into layer three, and then going we're going to. Whoa, in flux, done fragment bit is set, means it's on, okay? So it's on, why? Because I say turn it on. In the next example, I will pull it, I will, I will type this. I, I will, I'm not gonna type this. By default, it's off. So I'm gonna type the default stuff, okay? Cool. So now, what about the type of service? We decided 127. 127, as you can see, in the up left corner is uh, one zero and seven ones, right? So we're going again to the layer three side and then we're going to the differentiated services field. Then you uh, check la that you have the 100, the 127 here, you see? This is the first six, um, the most significant six bits for the code point, for the code point, and the two less significant bits is for the explicit congestion. So in the next sample, we're gonna type whatever number we want, and then we're gonna change these values. Awesome, right? So why you wanna, you why you wanna use this? In case you wanna do some quality of service troubleshooting, this is for advanced quality of service troubleshooting, for MTU advanced troubleshooting. This is also for MTU sort of or whatever purpose you wanna like uh, inject in, in terms of data. This is amazing because you are inside the chassis as I already explained, and then you decide from where you wanna verify the reachability. Okay, so this is already explained with this. And the counts of um, request, I request literally. So I request two, so I just got two. I I mean two request, two replies. Right? Two request, two replies. One reply for each request, I believe. And in the broadcast I also sent two, remember? That's why I can you can see request from the broadcast and reply for the guys, reply request from the broadcast and reply for the guys. So yeah. 
let's execute another example and then we're gonna finish this extra video wow I talked too much okay so okay so let's repeat the like let's check the clock nice oh 10 minutes oh, that's a long video right <laughs> okay so okay so let's change some values then for repeat I'm just gonna repeat once the source will be the same the toss will be I don't know well, um, one two three okay so I want it let's change uh, done fragment bit the size by default it's a hundred so let's use 90 okay awesome the same destination okay so I'm gonna close this whoa so I need to close this then I'm gonna refresh this baby and then I'm gonna execute this okay it's success show clock okay so you as you can see is a uh, success and I executed around 648 the 648 guy okay Yeah, this is a normal uh, issue. This is for my la laboratory, like my scenario. So we're gonna type this. We just wanna filter with ICMP packets. Great. We have the broadcast request. We have our first example request, and then we have just one echo request. So I just request once. Now, that's awesome. So, whoa, 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 okay, yeah. Okay, so this will be quicker, right? So we set the uh, size of 90, okay? So we already explained how you can identify this value, right? So you always gonna have 20 bytes, you always will wanna have 8 bytes of the ICMP header so 20 plus 20 uh, sorry 20 plus 8 is 28 okay 28 plus the data payload so if I wrote in the command size of 90 so will be 90 let's use this to be like uh, specific okay so 90 minus 24 20 sorry 90 minus 28 to 62 right so 20 for the layer 3 8 and 62 for the payload only which is rubbish this is basically rubbish you serious because you're requesting some rubbish you can request more rubbish if you want this is rubbish basically you're creating rubbish toss one to three okay so what is the one to three in binary I'm lazy so I'm using uh, whoa I'm using a programmer one to three in decimal in binary is this so you copy this you see decimal binary awesome so one two three guys this this is one two three okay and uh, yeah pretty much this so let's go with the wire shark so let's start with the size the size the size the size is 90 so let's check the payload and this is magic is 62 we already calculated so 20 for layer 3 8 for ICMP plus data which is 62 plus 80 so if someone asking you what is the total amount of payload or what is the total amount of bytes within the datagram within the layer 3 datagram just for ICMP only will be the data plus the header itself which is 8 
so it's 70, right? 62 plus 8. That's awesome, guys, because we use here 90. That's amazing. Okay, check the time. 648. We were working with the 648. So let's go up all the way up to the frame. Uh, yeah, as we said, as we noticed, it's the same time, pretty much. Okay, I'm supposed to check it at the very beginning. Okay, so this is already recovering. This is recovering. Oh, this is the quality of service thing. This is different services. Troubleshooting. This is amazing when you're troubleshooting quality of service. I use it pretty often. So, yeah, let's go all the way up to the layer three difference in services. We said the binary is zero, use one zero, the third is zero, the third less significant bit is zero. No way. Zero and zero. You see? This is one, two, three. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, pretty much this. So, any question guys, just let me know in the comment section below. I hope you wanna like, get in love with ping and get in love with ping at layer 4 with the PC ping and PC ping as I did since ages ago I uh, highly recommend you to watch my previous video about ping and ping in layer 4 um, yeah remember we all are in the age of IP whether you like it or not everything runs with IP even your phone you have nearby like everything, even your fridge, your your everything. I, I've been thinking about toothbrush. It would be funny, right? Toothbrush, like sensing with Internet of Things, the vibration of your mouth. I don't know, sounds weird. Anyways, so thank you for watching, guys. Peace.